guys welcome to the channel we got some news today let's dive straight into it we have more amber h all of the place all of a sudden we have a h in so many articles out here that you wonder and you start to get suspicious why why now eh, after an entire year why now well i have some ideas let's talk about it some of you also reached out to me that there is a, a Spanish TV channel which they did a sort of special follow her because out of the blue now she goes out in public we have also another video I will try to share you a clip without being blocked so here you have this article Amber Heard is still signing autograph despite quitting Hollywood somewhere it says here you can take the girl out of Hollywood but you can't take Hollywood out of the girl so you know that Articles came out this week, supposedly that she's quitting Hollywood and acting. Most of us don't believe this. It's just most likely another PR thing to gain momentum. And out of the blue, she's out visiting a museum. And there is also like, uh, not staged at all, like fan that asks for autographs. One fan, which I find it absolutely amusing, especially because how would they know that she was going to this particular museum if let's say they didn't have a call like tmz call right you remember the tro yes i'm talking to you you remember that we remember that so it seems like somebody that knows how to use the media right and there is more to it of course you know that Johnny Depp is coming out with the new movie. Actually, the movie came out yesterday in France. Jean de Bourri, right now. So, it's in theater. Johnny Depp is having a momentum with this coming back in terms of being an actor. He's also going to direct a movie in October, most likely. I hear uh, the rumors are saying that he's going to start to shoot the Modigliani biopic with also Al Pacino involvement. So, very interesting to see Johnny Depp's career coming back. And all of a sudden, age is all over the place. So, if you ask me, this is a maneuver still to use and abuse Johnny Depp. As if he, the poor man wasn't being abused and used for already the, the good part of 10 years. His life was ruined. His career, at least, you know. His monetary life was still fine. He's still a rich man and wealthy but his name and his career was tainted to the point where nobody hired him and he wasn't working right so if it wasn't because he had to fight to clear his name and to prove that she defamed him and she was the abuser basically so there you have it all of a sudden now we we are supposed to forget everything and ah going around there is also this clip right here i'm gonna show you just a little part here of age randomly oh i'm just don't know where i'm going and uh, I, I just find it funny i just find it entertaining you know that all of a sudden the um you know the camera is there and uh the, actually the video here says that she bought uh this really nice fancy house in a nice part of the city but there is another thing that is quite interesting here i show you this other clip that i saw some of you this was outside that place that all of a sudden there is one person that she's signing an autograph this is on spanish tv so i find that really really amusing that this feels not natural whatsoever you know there is also a spanish politician they just came out on twitter saying we should ask ourselves why a man abuser and convicted of false accusation like amber heard has chosen spain madrid to move change her name and start from scratch and I don't think it's just because of the weather. We are the paradise of feminist violence. Many of you reached out to me telling me that Spain has really, really big laws which they favor women to the point where, you know, you just need somebody to accuse you of something. They basically throw you in jail and then you have to prove that you didn't do it. So, and I don't seem that I'm too exaggerating. If you have details about laws in Spain, you're welcome to share them in the comment section and start a debate. So to me, it feels like that's exactly what a narcissist will do. Move in a place where they're safer to carry out what they can carry out. 
I wouldn't want to be the next victim, honestly, especially in a country where the burden is on the person being accused from the start. So I find it amusing also that uh, like even in Spain, a politician is coming forward to talk about this. So there you have it. Amber Rage in the media again, all over the place, just in time to try to steal a little bit of spotlight from Johnny Depp's career or use his fame and his momentum to create the connection with her because she's the ex-wife. And of course you can argue, well, but then why do you cover this? Well, channel like mine and others, we have covered this in depth. And if you don't, people curiosity, they're going to go somewhere else on this website and on another channel, they're going to watch it anyhow. So at least we cover it, we discuss it, and we also call it out where it needs to be called out, where we feel and think it's speculation and BS and another propaganda machine trying to, you know, uh, basically force somebody down your throat that is trying still to retain, let's say, their stardom status after all that they've done to another person. Let, let's not, you know, uh, I understand that we have, you know, normal people have empathy, you know, and we tend over time to forgive other people because that's the nature of somebody that has empathy, right? I've said this before, but don't forget that a lot of people have been ruined for life. You know, just recently now I saw this article of this black man that got out of jail after a few decades of being wrongly accused of something that he didn't do or that he didn't do. So just let that sink in for a moment, right? There are accusations that can ruin people life forever. And let's not forget the journey that the, the good part of six years was out of the picture, literally, right? And just by accusations alone, not that nothing was proven, just somebody saying he did this to me and the whole freaking Hollywood dropped him, right? The whole Walt Disney dropped him. Nobody was hiring him and so on and so forth. So, so let's not forget this when we start to see this type of attempt coming back and we, we have to call them out for what they are, you know? If you have to take a side, take the side of the person that was abused. And in this case, Johnny Depp was abused and is still being abused because they're trying to steal from him, from his momentum. But we are here. Anyway, guys, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll talk to you later. If you want to see some of my covers, me singing, I appreciate you very much. Ciao.